Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to CryoFX YouTube channel. And today's video is on CO2 Canon rental or CO2 jet rental. Regardless of what you're searching for, those terms are interchangeable and they could mean the same thing. So on this video, we're gonna talk about the couple of different items that are for rent. Whether it's a CO2 jet for rent, CO2 Canon for rent, regardless of what it is, not a CO2 Canon for sale though. We do have those for sale, link in the description, shameless plug, I know. But for this video, we're gonna talk about the couple of different items that are for rent, and also what you need to do prior to renting one of these CO2 jets or CO2 Canons as well. This is with our company, CryoFX. I can't speak for any others, but we do do rentals nationwide. On occasion, we do do these rentals in Canada as well and in Mexico. Inquire at the link below. Now, when you're looking for a CO2 Canon rental or a CO2 jet rental, you gotta consider a couple of things. And I'm speaking on behalf of CryoFX here. Those couple of things are as follows in list form. What are the dates that you're gonna be renting? How many days are you gonna be renting? Also, more importantly, what equipment are you gonna be renting? Certain equipment has expendables or consumables as what they're called. And how many of those are you going to need? So with a CO2 cannon or a CO2 jet, how much CO2 are you going to need? Are you gonna be getting the CO2 or do you want us to handle the CO2 as well? Those are a couple of things that you have to take into consideration. Typically, one of these CO2 tanks lasts about 60 to 80 seconds, give or take, and you need to know how many you're gonna need. How many seconds of CO2 are you gonna need? Spark machines, totally different video. We do rent those as well. Here's one of the spark machines. These spark machines actually have consumables that are granules. Four minutes for the smaller machines, 12 minute packets for the larger machines. How many do you need? Case in point, I've driven that home, we can move forward. Some other things that you need to consider. Where are you going to be renting this equipment at and where is it going to be delivered? We have options in certain areas to ship same day. Yes, inquire with us and I will tell you how to do that. I'm not going to put that in that video because that gives us the competitive advantage against our competitors. Only certain areas though, we can do this. A lot of major cities, we can do this. Now, with that said, normally when you're renting something like this, the transportation days are not included in the rental. That's how we structure our rentals. Other companies may include those. We do not include those in the rental. So when the rental gets to you, that starts the time clock. And then when you return it back to wherever you're returning it to, whether you're mailing it back, whether you're dropping it off at a specific facility, that is when the clock stops. That is considered your rental period. So we need to know how long do you need the rental for? Typically on weekends, it's a weekend rate and we account for that. And I say that slowly because other companies will not. Now, shipping is, in most aspects, seven days a week, except for major holidays. Therefore, if you return the product in that rental period time frame, you're not going to get charged any extra. I'm going a little bit into the weeds here, but just want to make sure I explain this on this video. The other more important aspect here other than consumables and of course the equipment is what other items do you need with your rental package so when you're doing a co2 canner rental or co2 jet rental do you need the dmx board okay chave obey 40 is what we normally use a chave obey 3 we normally use those as well do you need a dmx board with your rental does your co2 jet have dmx settings that you will need a dmx board to run this is one of the jets that we do rent. This is a CO2 Canon jet, a plus jet. It has DMX settings, but it also has power on and off. If you don't want a DMX board and you don't want a DMX board and cable package, which we offer, then you can just run that with a power strip. You don't have to get that from us. You just get the power cord and the jet from us and you can handle the rest. So those are some things that you wanna take into consideration as well. Of course, how many products do you want? These are all things that you would think that somebody would know, but we do get asked these questions a lot. So in order for us to give you a price on your rental, these are items that we need to know that I've explained so far. Other things that you will need to take into consideration is this. Is this a major holiday? July 4th, New Year's, those are major holidays right off the bat. Rental prices, there's gonna be a supply and demand. 
There's a lot more demand than there is supply, so the rental prices are probably gonna be a little bit higher. Cannot guarantee that or cannot promise that, but on occasion, that may be the case. Other things to consider. Is this a three-day weekend? If you have Monday as a holiday, taking into consideration that there is absolutely no shipping on Monday, that may be factored into the price on three-day weekends. Certain President's Days and other, other days like that. I don't know all the holidays. I'm not a genius in that aspect. I just know the products and the rentals. So those are things that you wanna take into consideration. Also, the hoses. I don't have a hose for this video, but the hoses that go with the CO2 jets. What length of hose do you need? What fittings do you need on the hose? If you can come to us with all of these pieces of information, rental dates, equipment, what uh, accessories do you need? How long is your rental period? The consumables. I've named a lot of these, which I've talked about all these on the video. How many tanks? How many granules if you're doing spark machines? All of this. If you could come to us with all of that, then we can give you a price and will more or less be a lot of other competitors prices but we have to know what we're working with before we can offer a price so when you're inquiring about a co2 canner rental or co2 jet rental because you're a dj and you have some co2 dj effects that you want or just simple co2 special effects is what they're called those are some things that you have to take into consideration now normally you don't need permits when you're doing co2 special effects when you're doing spark machines you do need permits that is a whole nother category. That's a whole nother video. And we can talk about that at that time. Now, other than that, there will be a deposit. So expect that. And last but not least, there are some forms that will need to be filled out. We'll have a link in the description that talks about the forms. It takes you to a specific page where we have a video that explains just that. But those forms are more or less to protect us, to protect you, contractual agreement between us and of course to set everything in stone so that everything's laid out and there is no uh, wishy-washy or misunderstandings if you will so that's it for this video this covered co2 cannon rental co2 jet rentals we do rent these nationwide we do rent these for all events whether it's a wedding whether it's a corporate party if you just want the equipment rental that's something that we do if you want an entire production confetti machines and all sorts of things and on-site staff to run the event that's something that we do just throwing that out there because some people have questions regarding all of these aspects if you have more questions put that in the comment section below we'll definitely reply use the links in the description below to contact us if you have any further questions specific questions or any feedback and of course smash that like button subscribe button and share the video if you think that somebody would find a benefit from watching this video that's what these videos are made for i'm chris this is cryo effects this video was on co2 cannon rental co2 jet rental <laughs> of course there's links in the description if you want a co2 cannon for sale we do have those again shameless plug co2 dj effects is what we're covering here we have spark machines and other videos on spark machine indoor fireworks indoor pyrotechnics whatever you call those that's a whole nother video i'm chris this is cryo effects thanks for watching